Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good evening to distinguished Toastmaster, Azmi, competent governor, communicator, Azmi, communicator, Azmi and my fellow governors. And don't forget Saadia. Eh, ada. Ani. Okay, saya dia. Okay. Tak kantoi. Kantoi ya. Ninja. I'm going to talk about a topic on how to be, how to stay safe in the modern age. How to stay what? How to stay safe in the modern age. Oh, okay. So in this, in this, in the 21st century, there are many, there are many gadgets. You can use uh, there are many things you can use the internet, mobile phones, iPads, and so toaster. On. And so um, toaster, toaster, and also toasters. <laughs> However, with with those, with those technology, we, we also have, there are also many threats um, to our to our privacy. There are many hackers and spammers out there who want to who want to invade our our privacy and hmm, hack our our phone and and scam us for money. Uh. So so you. Mr. Baby. Very sure for example, there are many cases where. Uh. For example, there are many cases where where hundreds hundreds of dollars are just wait are just. Stolen because someone know someone knows someone else's bank account. So I'm very sure none of you want this to happen, right? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. So uh, here are a few ways to protect yourself from from these attacks. So my first point is is to not give put private information online. Don't give. Not give any private information online. These private in informations include your name, your your birthday, your your phone number, your password for a website account, and so on. Right. So on. If you if someone read. If someone like your family needs to know the the information, there don't use don't do not use any anything that can be easily hacked, such as email. Instead, use a phone to call your your family. So my second reason, uh, my second point is to. Be careful on uh, about the permissions on apps. So you know when you open up an app or website, it might ask for permission, maybe your location, your turn on notifications, etc. Camera. Camera. So be so pay close attention to these information because yeah. because according to according to studies by. By researchers in the University of of Oxford. Oxford. Um, over fifty percent of of privacy is stolen due to location due, due to apps that knows the location. And maybe if if someone is maybe if someone knows the, your location, they might. Even know your house, and might even steal something, break into your house and steal and steal your something in your house, and that's not good. So um, my third point is to is to never to never click on unknown e email att attachment or respond to <coughs> unknown email uh -huh. from an unknown sender. So. For example. For example. Never open an email. Never open an email with sent by. Sent by. Illegal. By hot. Illegal. Unknown. By 
by unknown Sam, unknown some person some person some person use the name or use use the name hot girl or something so hot girl. Hot, so another example is the hot girl puma panas it's the virus it's the virus i love you in 2004 many 2004 yes were you born then no. Yeah. We, you, we were born. We. Which happened? We were born. 2004. Oh my Which God. happened? Which happened? Before I was born. Before I was born. So, this this virus got spread over millions of accounts. Many computers were hacked, and billions of dollars stolen. 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 We're robbed. Um, we see. We see. We're, we needed to pay to oh, repair the, the the damage. Ah, to repair oh. the damage. Many people uh, click on this email attachment because they were curious on on this particular virus, and the internet was quite new because that was two thousand four. But even in this age. There are still there are still people try to scam us with these email attachments because because there are still internet users there are still internet users who are gullible and and think that they are living think they are living in the twentieth century in the twentieth century so if you see one of these emails mark them as spam. And throw them into the trash. <coughs> so, <coughs> my fourth point: hide your identity when you when possible. So, for example, there might be a there might be an online survey. If there is a if there is an option to to remain anonymous, um, be sure to do that. Uh-huh. Make sure, make sure, make sure, make sure to that your your. Your full name is not known by it's by not a, known. It's not known by a, by blog by by many people on the internet. Also, avoid putting your name on in uh, in your username. Uh huh. Like maybe your name is Muiz and you and you put your username Muiz is a hot guy. <laughs> Oh, it's gampang. It's gampang. That is lying. <laughs> lying. <laughs> oh, thank God. Stop lying. So don't do that. <laughs> so don't do that. So don't do that. Because. Because. <laughs> gampang. Because. Gampang. One, that is, that is not true. And two, people will know that your name is Muiz. And they might, they might try to use that as an advantage. Ooh. <coughs> how, so, how, 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 you, how, how do you use the name? So for example of the for, for example so For example they might they might write an email write an email to you using your name like Muiz Dear Dear Muiz I want to send you money please give your bank account Regards the um, tipu Bill Gates. <laughs> so, so, and you might believe that, and when you give that information, you ended up losing many, many money. A lot, a lot, a lot. So, my fifth and final reason: don't respond to unknown calls. <laughs> That are US. According to Professor Professor Adam Adam Scott Adam Adam Scottsman Adam Scottsman Adam Scottsman Adam Scottsman Adam Over seven over sixty five percent of of people scammed are be uh because of because are because of for unknown phone calls. Uh-huh. So, according to me, there is a thing. Therefore, so therefore, do not, do not respond to these. They might want, they might want to, to scam you money like, 
like they call call you saying that saying that you Ten minutes. you owe them Who? you owe the money and you should pay the money or else they call the and police. You should pay the money. That that you should pay the money or else they'll call the police. So you're you're too scared and you give the money to them without thinking twice. Twice. Yeah. Or maybe Or maybe they want to use your voice for some for some voice recognition because you might put um, your voice for for password maybe. Mm. <coughs> so so if there is an unknown phone number calling you, um, ignore it and block the number. <coughs> so in conclusion, to be safe in on the on this a information age, mm. we must be a cop. We must be. We must be careful on what we do. Always be cautious and stay alert. That is all for me. Thank you very much. Go.